Hey, in this message, I'm going to talk about women and their role in air miners. I'm going to share some stories and anecdotes and then a call to action that I hope you take me up on. This past week, we closed the nominations for the Kirby Awards. It just closed last night at midnight and we had 200 plus nominations from dozens of nominators from around the air miners community, around the carbon removal community. So we just had a panel of judges review all 200 nominations. Um, and as I was looking through, one thing that stood out to me was that so many of the nominees, so many of the people that were recognized for their role in the air miners community, the overwhelming majority of them were men. And so it got me thinking, you know, as we designed the, the panel of judges, we wanted to start with diversity. So we started by, by finding women, people of color to join the judging panel. But as we continued to, to grow to get the number of judges that we needed to review all the, uh, all the 200 plus panelists, uh, I started to notice that you know, every time we invite uh, a man, they would, be, you know, they would be available. They'd be able to either, whatever was happening, moving their schedule, more flexible, whatnot. Uh, and, and women just would, would come back and say, you know, that, that there were something else was going on. They weren't available, but they, you know, they were interested. Um, and only about a quarter of the women that we invited to be judges were, were available. Um, and so it was something that really got me thinking. Ultimately put in extra work. We added a second session to make the timing more flexible. Uh, and we ended up with a better gender balance on the, on the judging panel. This helped me realize that we have such a big opportunity to make sure that this carbon removal community is more diverse and more inclusive and more reflective of the, of the world that, that as it exists. So when I think about air miners, how inclusive is our community? How inclusive is the carbon removal community? How inviting is it? How, how interesting and, and welcoming is it? And the more I think about carbon removal being at this moment, which I talk about a lot, right? This moment of change, this moment of the wave picking up, I just think how important it is to, to figure this out now, to, to make air miners and the carbon removal community a more welcoming place, a more welcoming industry, a more welcoming uh, community. And I also think about the, the cost of delaying that or the cost of putting that off, uh, whether that cost is inaction or it's, it's just silence. I just think about six months from now or a year from now when the community has, has grown and, and stayed on a particular path, just how difficult it will be to and expensive it will be to adjust then. Right now, this is a, this is a, a, a blossoming community. It's an early stage industry. Um, it's getting its roots. The more we can, can change things now, the more we can set the course now intentionally, the better we'll be. Um, and so I look at my own my own work with air, air miners. Jason and I's work with air miners, and we try to challenge ourselves to be uh, to to take action where there's where there's silence or there's inaction, and just kind of think about you know, sure maybe it's awkward to send a couple extra emails now, or maybe it's awkward to to schedule uh, you know schedule something extra, or um, maybe it's awkward to to withdraw an invitation. But six months from now, a year from now, that'll all start paying off. Uh, and if we if we delay in that, it just gets harder to do. Uh, we'll just be more rooted in in a particular direction that that doesn't really serve the purpose of air miners, the purpose of carbon removal. Jason and I were up till midnight last night talking about this. Uh, how do we make the air miners community as it is? Uh, a, 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 how do we create opportunities within the existing air miners community for women, for people of color, uh, and and similar but but different how do we make the community and the industry uh itself more welcoming and inclusive to new people that that are going to hear about carbon removal but look i don't have all the answers on this and like most things i don't i don't have it all figured out so what i want to do is i want to call in women air miners and brainstorm and come up with ideas how do we create uh, more opportunities within the existing things that we do at air miners within the the events, the Slack channel, stuff like that. Maybe there's ideas there. Uh, how do we create more new opportunities? Maybe there are things like, like networking sessions or mentoring or coaching, things we haven't even thought of yet that would be great opportunities for, for women air miners. If you were to design an event for women air miners, what would it be? How would it work? How would it come together? What would it look like? And for all the fellas listening, if you've had thoughts where you're, you know, you think of something and you're like, gosh, I wish it was different, that, you know, 
Freud's worth get comfortable being uncomfortable, lean into that uh, that silence and figure out how to figure out how to share it. Figure out how to, you know, we have we have event surveys after every event and Freud's worth, these are private, maybe you want to do it publicly, but if the you know if the best way you can think of is to is to throw it into one of the uh, event surveys or, or email Jason or I or or you know have a Slack conversation or a phone call, that's all fine. Just that you know, again, identify your silence. Understand that there's every time you see something, there's probably dozens of other fellows in the Air Myers community are probably thinking the same thing and wishing that it was different. So be a part of making that change and, and get comfortable being uncomfortable because it you know sometimes it's 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 weird it's awkward it's late night calls it's retracted emails it's change of plans and that's what we need to do it takes more work but this is what we need to do i'm looking for women leaders to help organize and lead uh, events in airliners a great example of this is our environmental justice event we worked with heidi uh who is the who is the whole lead on that event in terms of envisioning what it was and figuring out who to invite who to collaborate with um, and it was one of our best events of the year, one of our most impactful events of the year. Uh, how do we do more of that? Uh, right now we have people like Jason, Grant, myself, as kind of the faces of the Air Myers community. Are there women in the community who want to be a part of those initiatives? Or are there other opportunities that we can help create, that we can help start um, for other people in the, in the community? We need more than me saying that this bothers me. We need me and people like me taking action and, and changing this. Uh, that's what we really need. So it's like, it's fine if you're thinking about this stuff and for you sharing it is the next step, totally great. But what I'm saying is ultimately this is not like the bar that I'm setting is pretty damn low uh, and, and I want to get better at it and I want everybody else to, um, to get better at it too. So look, the reason that you're interested in curb removal, the reason that you're part of the Air Myers community, the reason that you read reports about the change in climate is because you want to have a role in in the solutions in in creating uh, a better world, and this is this is one of those opportunities. Uh, it's a it's a big one. There's a there's a ton of room for improvement, uh, and for what it's worth, the the bar that's been set by society, like in so many things, that bar is way 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 too low. Am I talking about carbon? Am I talking about diversity? Either way, you know the bar is too low. Uh, and, and it's an opportunity to, to surpass it, the opportunity to, to build something better and create that better world that we all want. So send me your ideas for how you want to get involved in Air Myers as it is. Maybe it's leading events or helping out on Slack, or maybe it's come up with new opportunities, things that we haven't thought of or things we haven't tried. Hit me up on email or reply in the comments.